experience 30 years of resident-owned and directed housing in Burlington, Vermont. Um, I want to welcome you all. I'm sure we'll be having people come on in. Hi, darling. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have people coming um, in, so uh, if you could all, all of you that are hovering outside of the tent, please come on in and grab a seat. Uh, make, make sure you get a yellow ballot if you live here at Northgate and you're 18 years or older. Uh, the, these are your resident directors that you want to vote for who give um, a lot of their time to help decisions that are made here at Northgate. Um, I would like to have Almir Salkic come up. He is our NROC board president. And Almir is going to um, call the meeting to order. He's going to ask for your vote uh, to approve the minutes and the reports. And then he's going to give us some opening remarks. Almir. Hi folks, thank you for coming to this event. Um, we're looking forward to hosting all of you and showing you what we're all about, um, what we have to offer. Um, Carol may need to remind me of the steps that I need to take for if you want to call the meeting to order, so motion. Alright, I'll set a motion to approve the minutes for the meeting notes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to send to that. Thank you. And now the report from 2018. All right. I'll let you have the vote on the reports. It's all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thanks. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, so my experience with Northgate started about four years ago. Um, I came into this neighborhood, this lovely neighborhood, where folks welcomed me with open arms. They provided me with an opportunity uh, beyond my imagination. So far, I started out as a resident advisor when I first arrived. Soon after, I was invited to serve as the president of the board. It was an extraordinary experience. Um, the folks that are committed to this neighborhood and growing this community and improving on a daily basis has been phenomenal. Um, it, I have never witnessed this anywhere else. And the folks that I have met across the country and while in DC uh, for our lobby day, they want to take this model that we have in Northgate and apply it across the other places that are struggling, that are in need of such places as Northgate. So it's been a tremendous experience in, in changing people's lives for the better. Um, overall, it's been, how can I say this? It's provided me potential to grow professionally and personally. So it's definitely very meaningful to me where I am right now. All right, thank you. I'm so happy to introduce our, our next speaker to give us a few words. Uh, please welcome Mayor Moreau Weinberger. Thank you. I'm, I'm so pleased to be with you this morning. And thank you for the invitation to share on the, this really special day, remarkable milestone with you. Um, you know, I. A lot of people don't necessarily know. I spent 15 years before getting elected to this job, which I can't believe I've been in seven years now, but the, the 15 years before that, I was an affordable housing developer. And I worked on many projects all over Vermont and New Hampshire, and before that, New York, that uh, a lot of them had a lot of similarities to, uh, to Northgate. And there was uh, the way these projects get built generally, um, there is some money that's available from the, from the government and people work really hard and, and agreements get put in place that ensure that for 20 or maybe 30 years, once these communities get built, they're going to serve the function that, that they're supposed to. They're going to be places that people of all backgrounds can afford to live in. Um, but there's always this moment uh, at the closing table where basically everyone has to acknowledge that we don't really know what's going to happen 20 or 30 years from now and, and there's just sort of a hope that at the end of that period which seems very distant at the, 
construction day uh, that things are going to work out and these are going to communities are going to remain um, diverse and inclusive communities and it often doesn't work out that way um, but what you have done here at Northgate is is sort of the example of what everyone hopes will happen that there will be a way to at the end of that 20 or 30 years for the residents to come together to find a way to keep investing in the community and, and keep it uh, strong and healthy um, and keep it affordable and it is really quite a, an accomplishment that you have been able to do this for 30 years now um, I think the origins of this uh, community where there weren't really great models there's a lot of pioneering work that got done back 30 years ago to, to make this possible. I know some of the people involved in that at the time are here today, and I hope, I'm sure you are all feeling great pride uh, with what is, where we are now in 2019. And uh, I, I just want to congratulate you all, everyone who's been involved in this, uh, on this accomplishment, wish you, wish you the best. It is great to drive in here, you know, here today and look around and see um, investment going on, millions of dollars in investment to keep these homes in great shape and to keep this community looking as great as it does. Uh, and you know, what you've done is, is a great example uh, for Burlington at a time when we still have a housing crisis. In some ways, the pressures on housing in this community are as great or greater than they've ever been. And we are uh, coming together as a community, asking ourselves, what do we do to, to remain this inclusive place that, that welcomes people from around the world that uh, Burlington has long been and aspires to, to remain. And uh, I think Northgate represents not just a, uh, you're a great example to us, not just in that the community is able to direct and lead its own future, it's also a great example of the need and the importance of building homes. You know, we would not be having this celebration today if uh, the, the community had not supported this 50 years ago. Um, I think in many parts of Burlington and even in Vermont, if we were trying to build Northgate today, it would be very hard, maybe impossible to do that. We need to keep um, uh, working together to ensure that new homes can continue to be built um, in this community and in Vermont. And uh, we are having a summit in, in just a little more than a week now that is very focused on that. We're calling it the Burlington Housing Summit. It's going to be an all-day event. There's uh, workshops during the day from noon to 5, and then there's an evening town meeting. And uh, I hope uh, that everyone who cares about the future of Burlington, that cares about uh, Northgate State staying strong and, and there, our ability to continue to generate new homes in this community will come and join us uh, for that conversation in one, in one way or another. So uh, with that little politicking out of the way, let me just say again, congratulations to you all. And this is a great day. I wish I could stay with you throughout the morning. i got to go to another community event, but I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to come and, and say congratulations and, and good luck. to welcome um, Polly Major, who is who is representing who is representing Senator Leahy today, who unfortunately could not be here. Polly, please come. Thank you. So thank you for inviting me here today. It's really exciting to take part in your celebration of 30 years of resident ownership. Senator Leahy wishes he could be here. Uh, he has enjoyed partnering with all of you over the past 30 years to help make this project a success and enjoy working with the residents and the city of Burlington and all the housing nonprofits who helped 30 years ago to bring this property into resident ownership. He well remembers the worry in the community, the fear in the city of losing all these homes losing their affordability, seeing them develop and privatized. And uh, he, he heard the need from all of you to really invest in this property and keep it in the hands of residents. Because Vermont is not a place where we uh, take the homes away from hundreds of residents. And so he went back to HUD 30 years ago and said, HUD, you invested in this property. You said the government thinks affordability is important. You built it 50 years ago. And you still have a, uh, a commitment 
to this property. You need to invest in it again so that it can remain affordable. And so HUD was able to provide a grant to help bring this property into resident ownership 30 years ago. What this has done is it's provided a model that the rest of the country needs that you heard the mayor speak about of how to create a community that's going to remain affordable. We see housing prices skyrocketing around the country, but here we see what a community can do when it's not paying too much for housing. What other services it can deliver to the children that live here, to the people that live here. What other opportunities it can create, and the leaders it can create as well. So this model has shown not only how to preserve affordability, but also how to build community. And Senator Leahy, really just want to say thank you to all the residents here today for your partnership through the years. And I have a brief note that he asked me to read to all of you. One second. Congratulations to all involved with the Northgate Resident Ownership Corporation as you celebrate 30 years of resident-owned and controlled affordable housing. I remember well the effort to gain resident control of Northgate and especially recall the ambition and dedication of those involved. The residents proved that the, to the community that they could reach their goals and successfully manage their housing. 30 years later, Northgate is a national model for such efforts. My wife Michelle and I are proud of all of you and we wish you the best for continued success. Thank you, Patrick Lee. So I don't know if this is an urban legend or not, but 30 years ago we had um, our, our mayor, Bernie Sanders, um, was involved in, in, uh, in Northgate's um, start. And evidently um, it goes, they want to make Northgate into these luxury condos and they want to evict everyone who can't afford them. And Bernie said, over my dead body. So, not sure if that's an urban legend or not. But I'm so happy to introduce Sheila Reed, who is representing Senator Sanders today. I wasn't there, but it's not an urban legend. All right. <laughs> Housing work for the center, which I love, I'm very passionate about it, and I'm so glad to be here as his representative. And we all wish he was here, and you know that if he was in the state of Vermont today, he would be here. He's in California, so that's why he's not here today. But he sent a letter to you that I'm going to read to you, because I think you should hear it. Dear friends, congratulations to the community of Northgate on your 30th anniversary. I am sorry that I could not be there to celebrate this great accomplishment. In the 1980s, when I was mayor of Burlington, we faced the possibility of losing 336 affordable apartments at Northgate. This was not any housing development. This was the state's largest affordable housing development. Northgate was built many years before with a federally subsidized mortgage which had been paid off, and the owner could now sell it on the open market. Of course, I was very familiar with Northgate, and it did not surprise me that private condo developers were chomping at the bit to get their hands on this beautiful property. In many other cities, that's exactly what would have happened. And to be honest, there were plenty of people right here in Burlington who would have been perfectly happy to see the property flip to high-end condos. What makes the Northgate story so compelling is that the residents made the case for preserving this affordable housing. The residents stood up and said, these are our homes and this is our neighborhood. I have long believed that real change happens when ordinary people organize. And at the end of the day, that is exactly what happened at Northgate. As mayor, I was honored to support those efforts, not just to preserve the housing for the residents who lived here, but also to make sure it stayed affordable in perpetuity. You completely renovated the property 
made the homes energy efficient, and no one was displaced. No one. And because of the deal that was structured, Northgate is more affordable now than it was 20 years ago. Today, Northgate is a great neighborhood. Not only is it 100% resident owned and controlled, but many residents have lived here for 20 years or more. I just talked to two of them right over there. I am enormously proud that I had a small part in making this happen, but you, the residents, are the real heroes. Enjoy your well-deserved celebration, warmly. Bernie Sanders, U.S. Senator. I'm very happy to introduce to Fiend Dean from Congressman Welch's office. Thank you for coming to Fiend.
And our job was to really help that vast array of people to rebuild Northgate. Uh, physically, financially, and socially. It was a transformation, truly a transformation. Early on, it became clear that one of my commitments to this community would be to ensure that resident control and resident decision making was in the forefront of everything we did. This resident directed approach has prevailed for 30 years. Give yourselves a round of applause. For that. So I would say that Northgate is successful by any measure, but that in and of itself is really something to celebrate that is so unique. Working in partnership with the various Northgate boards and committees over the years, and there have been many, together we implemented successful management systems, strategies, and resident policies that helped to create and sustain the affordable, stable, diverse, and unique community that Northgate is today. So just a few highlights. One of our most proud accomplishments at Northgate has been our success in recruiting and hiring residents for jobs on site. This was a commitment we made to the Northgate Residence Board and GRA back in 1989, and we took it to heart. We're very proud of our track record. During the past 30 years, over 35 residents have been hired and trained for positions on site. Many have moved on to jobs with increased responsibilities, or started their own business. And two extraordinary successes are sitting right in front of us here. Our co-managers, Donna and Sarah, both of whom <laughs> both of whom are former residents of Northgate and started their work at Maloney many, many years ago now, um, while they were still living on site. Currently, of the 13 on-site management and maintenance positions, 10 are held by residents or former residents of Northgate. One of the hallmarks of our company is our focus on working positively with resident owners. We have found tremendous success at Northgate by establishing a true working partnership with NROC. Ours is a strong 30-year relationship built on trust, hard work, and genuine respect for each other. While well, NROC and Maloney share the common purpose to be responsible stewards of this remarkable real estate asset and community, I think the values we hold are the foundation of the work that we do together. Those values include humanity. Together, we show kindness and empathy for all. Diversity. Together, we cultivate inclusiveness and create opportunity. Equity. Together, we remove barriers to ensure equal access. Quality. Together, we reach the highest standards of excellence. And finally, collaboration. We work together as a team for the collective good. Sorry. <laughs> So, 30 years is pretty awesome. Resident ownership and success at Northgate. You should all be so very proud. And on behalf of the entire Maloney team, both on site and across New England, thank you for making us a part of this beautiful community. introduce Brian Pine. Uh, please, he, Brian is uh, one of our community directors on the Enron <coughs> Board of Directors and Brian is um, going to present our Youth Awards uh, and the Anne Marie Dennis Community Service Award and I'm going to assist you. <laughs> please, please welcome Brian. Thank you, Carol. Um, I think people have come
covered the, uh, the amazing past of Northgate, I'll just confess it at age 23, I was recruited by a college friend who said, why don't you come to a meeting at Northgate and you, you can learn about what's going on. And it was 1985, and we met at Anne Marie Dennis's living room, and Ellie Blaze was there, and Lynn Winter, and um, I think John Romeo actually was there. Um, I can't remember anybody there, but it was really the beginning of my education. And I want to say, throughout, that's 33 years ago. So throughout the last 33 years, Northgate has been part of my learning and my um, entry into uh, the affordable housing world, the community development world, and really what it's about is building and sustaining and nurturing healthy communities, healthy families, healthy neighborhoods. And it has been part of uh, my life in, in a very meaningful way for all that time. So I'm just incredibly grateful for that. Now we're going to look ahead at our future and, and recognize the young people who will, who will be the leaders of tomorrow and who will carry the torch as some of us get a little bit older. I have a birthday in a couple weeks, and I'm not as young as I was when I started. So, um, all right. So our first um, award recipient is Khalil James. Khalil, is Khalil, Khalil here? Khalil, I'm going to read a little bit about okay. Khalil. The nominations for these awards come from the uh, guidance staff or the principals at the local schools in the, uh, that, are, that are serving the Northgate community. So. Uh, this year's nominee for the Northgate Successful Student Award, I think we call it Youth Leadership, but Successful Student sounds great to me, uh, from C.P. Smith Elementary School, is Khalil James. Khalil is a very hardworking and dedicated student in Ms. Spinner's first grade class. Khalil is a polite young man who is popular among his peers and is always willing to help when there is a job to be done. He is always eager to help out, whether in the classroom or elsewhere at school. Khalil is also a very good sport on the playground, who does very well at sports, but is always willing, always brings a fair approach to the games he plays with his peers. In sum, Khalil is a very nice young man who is deserving of having his good work and positive attitude recognized by Northgate. So, congratulations. <laughs> gets his gift certificate even though he's not here. Many of them are, are doing They're busy. These are busy kids. All right. Amani Kayem Damina. I think I got it. Uh, from Flynn. Amani is a dedicated student who takes his work seriously and is always willing to help his friends. He has recently been working on a project to design a smart toilet and smart fridge, which will be useful at Northgate, I think. Through this project and many others, he shows great student leadership. Congratulations to him all. Bernadette, Kai Demina. Is Bernadette here? No. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Bernadette's description is brief, but still, there's her mom. Bernadette is a smart, ambitious girl who works hard and will go far. She is a kind and compassionate person and is always a helpful friend to others. She's taking her SAT exam. Hopefully, uh, doing well. Okay, Augustina Montoya Plum. Augustina's here. Okay. Uh, Augustina was nominated by uh, Hunt Middle School. Um, and they said, Augustina always comes to class ready to learn. She will work hard with any student in a positive manner. She tries hard and is a great role model for others. Her upbeat attitude lifts the whole class. Okay, so the next award is from Burlington, a uh, nomination came from Burlington High School, and this award is the Christian Kababu Memorial Award. As, as most people know, uh, Christian tragically died um, in the lake, I think two years ago, 2017. Uh, it affected my family because my younger son was a friend of his, and it was devastating for everybody, I know. Um, hopefully there will be some positive outcomes as a result regarding, you know, silver safety and there's some programs that are launching so that every kid coming out of Burlington Elementary School will know how to swim. That's actually one of the outcomes. So, um, Irwin, Irwin Medlock. Uh, Mito, sorry, Mito. Yep. Irwin is quiet, kind soul and a loyal friend to others. He's a hard worker and does great in school and we know he'll reach the star, a great leader by example. Congratulations, Irvin. This award is named after Anne Marie Dennis, who many of you who've been here for, for a few years would know who she is, but she really was the face, the spokesperson, as she had such tough grit that when, when Bernie said over my dead body, I'm sure. He was, he was motivated by Anne Marie constantly telling him what would happen to families if Northgate was sold. So uh, I got to know Anne Marie. She was a real role model for me personally. And I, it gives me a lot of pleasure to give this award to Steve Jaramillo. <laughs> Steve got nominated. Steve received three separate nominations. None of them came from Carol. <laughs> I'll just say that, even though they're related. Steve is not only the, 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 the van driver at Northgate, but also goes to the store on a regular basis for homebound neighbors, delivers meals to neighbors for events, and the good food truck. Steve is just there for people when they need him the most. And he doesn't expect any recognition. That's why he's probably embarrassed he was standing up there taking it. Thanks,